Happy Wednesday, my beautiful YouTube family. Today, we're just gonna dive into some DIY dollar store summer decor, and I have a feeling you guys are gonna love these all. Plus, every single one of these was under five bucks. For this guy, you are going to need the paint colors of your choice for the fruit you want to do, mason jars from the dollar store, some rope or twine or ribbon if you want to add some extra detail, sanding paper if you want to make it a little bit more rustic, and numerous kinds of paintbrushes. I am going to be making a pineapple and a watermelon mason jar, so if you're going to do the watermelon, paint the top half hot pink and let that dry. If you're going to do a pineapple, paint everything but the top like lip part yellow. This is what your jar should look like so far, and this took me about three coats to get this kind of coverage. Starting with the hot pink jar, for the watermelon you're gonna paint the bottom rim where you didn't paint the hot pink obviously some lime green and you're gonna let that dry while that's drying we can hop on over to our pineapple and we can paint the top lip a darker green to mimic the leaves of the pineapple now I'm gonna let the pineapple dry a little bit and I'm gonna go back to my watermelon and paint like right below the lime green that same darker green we just used on that pineapple once you're done with that Let's go back to the other jar. Now we're gonna dip our smaller paintbrush into some black and draw some, or paint some, V's all over this little guy to your heart's content to make it look like a little pineapple. We're gonna switch over to that watermelon and paint the seeds on it with the same black. This is what you guys should have so far, and you can leave it as is, or you can do what I'm gonna do and make it a little bit more rustic by taking a rougher grit sandpaper and just sanding down the things that stick out of the jar, like further than the jar. Does that make sense? It should look something like this, but you're more than welcome to go a little bit more crazy with the sandpaper. I kept it kind of mellow, and then I added this little bit of twine just to, again, add a rustic detail. I did the same thing to the pineapple jar, and I'm completely obsessed with these guys. I see these guys being the perfect little backyard pool party touch where you can put the plastic utensils in it or you can do what I do and I added some peonies since hey girl hey they are in season at your local Trader Joe's. Yeah buddy. Since I am absolutely loving the watermelon dealio, I just picked up a glass from the local dollar store, some lime green paint, a thicker paintbrush, their utility rope, and hot glue, and I'm lying. You don't need black paint, you need a Sharpie paint pen. Yes, I have a heavy duty Ryobi wireless glue gun. You guys, you always ask about this. It will be in my description for you to purchase. And no, you guys, this is not sponsored, I wish. Use whatever glue that tickles your fancy like E6000 or hot glue and you're just gonna take that rope and literally start from the bottom and start to circle it around and hot glue it all the way up until your heart's content. You don't have to do half the glass like I'm doing. You can do way less or way more, totally your call. Do not freak out in the comments down below. This is like really heavy duty hot glue and I've washed these already a couple of times. I hand wash them, I don't put them in the dishwasher and they actually look great. Once you have the utility rope where you want it, just take that lime green paint, squirt it right on the rope, and just paint it directly onto it. And don't be nervous if you get the paint on the glass, it's so easy to wipe off. And I know that I just said that it didn't come off when you wash it, but it doesn't because it soaks into the rope. Calm down. This is where I said that I lied. You're going to need a Sharpie paint pen versus just regular paint because this stays on, the other paint on the glass does not. So draw your watermelon seeds again to your heart's content, and there you go. You have a little watermelon glass. This one by far is my most favorite DIY that I have ever done and it is so damn easy. You're gonna need a hat from the dollar store, some fabric glue, chalk, scissors, whatever kind of yarn you want, and your phone. Yes, you are going to need your phone. So the reason that you're going to need your phone is because if you are like me, you need a reference point all the time through these DIYs. And why do you need a reference point? Because we're gonna try to replicate this super Tumblr, Pinterest-y photo of this summer hat. Take your chalk or pencil and you're just gonna reference that photo a bajillion times over and try to copy or add your spin to the font, whatever you wanna do. I tried to copy it because I actually really loved it and I wanted to make it for way cheaper. So it's super hard to see my guideline while I was filming this, so I apologize, but trust me, it is there. Once you have your guideline, I went ahead and put something underneath the hat, like a piece of paper to just protect the surface I was working on from the glue that I was using. And then you're just gonna take that glue, the fabric glue that I had, had like a little nozzle on it and it was perfect. I just outlined it with glue first, one word at a time. And then I went back and I used the yarn and just put it directly on top of the glue. 
Go ahead and repeat that same process to the rest of the words and you can do whatever quote you want. Obviously, I just really love the whole do not disturb feel with the black thin yarn. Once you're all done outlining all your words, you're gonna go back in or I went back in with a Q-tip. I later went back in with just a end of a paintbrush because it was a little bit easier to scrape the excess glue off. You don't have to do this part because this does dry clear, but it just looks a little bit cleaner. Do not worry about that extra chalk residue. You're gonna go back in with a white eraser, believe it or not, that's a little hack right there. And erase as much excess off without getting the yarn and then whatever you can't reach just go back in with some soap and water and a paper towel and just press it there to soak it all up and you're golden do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you guys don't know i'm actually hosting a workshop in studio city on july 29th check out the link down below i hope that you guys enjoyed these pin inspired slash tumblr summer decor or if that's even what it's called but that's where i see it per usual you guys thank you so much for your love and support and congratulations to jade for winning the giveaway that i announced on sunday if you guys are watching to the end of these videos you should because there's a lot more giveaways coming at you.